I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Queen Isabella of Spain. I come right here in the center and I put one finger and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a little curved line down on the left, come back to the dot, little curved line down on the right. Come back to the left and I'm just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line and leave it floating. Come over to the right, curve line, curve line, curve line and leave it floating. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a straight diagonal in on the left. Come on the right, straight diagonal in on that side. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a slightly curved line up, over, connect. Come down, put a little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right. Let's mimic that line again. Little curved line up, over, connect. Right about here in the center, we're just going to draw an oval, bring it all the way up. And these spaces right here, <clears throat> excuse me, on the side are going to be a slightly wavy line down on the left, leave it floating, come back up to the right, slightly wavy line on the right, and leave it floating. Come right here in the center, and we're going to draw a straight line slightly curved line, straight line up, connect. Come on the inside on the left, curve line on the left, curve line on the right. Right underneath, little curve line dot on the left, little curve line dot on the right. Right in the center we're just going to draw a straight diagonal and then we're just going to put a dot. Come down to the bottom and we're just going to draw a curve line up, down, come underneath, curve line, leave it floating. Okay. Come all the way down. No, let's start up here. Let's draw another wavy line into a point on the left. Come up to the right, wavy line down, connect. Okay. Come back over here on the left and we're just going to draw a slightly curved line, bigger curved line, slightly curved line up, connect. Now we're going to mimic that line. Slightly curved line, curved line, slightly curved line up, connect. Now we can add a wavy line to the left, wavy line to the right. Come back to the left. Big curve line, bigger curve line, big curve line off the page. Right here we're just going to draw a little straight or a little curve line and just put some baby circles. Come on the right hand side, we're going to do it again, but before we do that, we're going to draw a straight diagonal up, little curve line, straight diagonal down, little curve line. Come up to the top. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now we're going to do it again. Curve line, curve line on the left, curve line, curve line on the right. Okay. Now we can add this part. Jump over and a big wavy line down, curve line over, wavy line up. and then leave it floating. Come back to this section and we're just going to draw baby circles on the inside of this space all the way over and we'll talk about decorating and clothes. Now we're going to draw curve lines going down and around on the top part. They wore a lot of clothes. Now right here at this point we're going to draw a curve line in straight diagonal down off the page. Alright, think that might be, oops, now we got to fill this in with little baby circles. See they wore a lot of decoration back in those days. 
so it's a lot to keep track of. Now I come back up to the top and I'm just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And on these, this space, I'm just going to draw a curve line, curve line. If you have room, curve line, curve line. And then curve line, curve line, connect. Now I come up here and I'm just going to do a loop-de-loop -loop up and over all the way down. Connect. And right here in the center space, I'm just going to draw straight diagonal, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, connect. Okay, I always say this, I think that's all. I think I might want to add one more curved line or wavy line here. All right, now let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we are going to triple color some of these things, spaces. But first I'm going to start off, if you have multicultural cramps, I'm going to lightly do her face and her neck with apricot or tan. If you don't have that, it's okay because now if you have pink, I'm going to come in and give her some pink right over that. We're going to double color or triple color some of these things. And lastly, light red for her lips. Okay. Now her crown, everything is going to have a coat of yellow. So I'm just going to come in because we're going to start out with yellow and then we're going to add more colors to it. And I mean everything's going to have a base. So all of these lines. Now this is silk gossamer that she's got on. This is all part of her decorations. This is her dress. And I'm just adding some lines of yellow. You can follow the line that we already drew. And you'll see how it'll come up once we do this. This is her scepter. It's kind of like her uh, holding a crown on a, on a uh, stick, which is a funny way of saying it, but that's really what it is. Now that I've done that, I'm going to come in and I'm going to go over it with pink. All of this is silks and satins and it's layers and layers of clothes they used to wear a lot of clothes come in do these lines now you can see we're building up our color so I'm doing pink wavy lines right there I'm gonna go ahead and do some pink on my scepter just like I did on my crown maybe put some pink up here too okay lots of color. Next I'm going to do purple and this is going to be the overwhelm, uh, overriding color on the whole thing. So lightly doing a loop-de-loop, -loop, not so dark that you lose your pinks and your yellows. I'm going to go all the way over everything we've just drawn with purple. Now these would be velvets, silks, satins, the whole shebang. Now I'm going to put some purple on my scepter which shows that she's the queen. I'm going to come in and follow the lines a little bit on my dress bodice so you can see that it is the dress. But now I'm going to lightly go over that also with my purple. All the way down. Now if you have, if you have metallic I'm going to do a little bit on her crown. If you have um, golds and silver crayons and silver pens or glitter pens you can really add a lot to your drawing but I have none so I'm just going to use my crayons it works okay now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fat black crayon and I'm just going to fill in the background sideways. I should make this smaller so I just broke it. There we go. So it fills in the background. So the figure of the queen is the part you see first. The background, uh-uh. Okay? Alright, let's see what she looks like all colored in. 
Okay, here is Queen Isabella of Spain, all colored in, ready to send Christopher Columbus off on his voyages to the New World. Okay, bye-bye.